Well, I think, uh, Peter, that's a great question. This year is surely the decade uh, of uh, disruption. So while uh, the 2000s, you know, saw an emerging market of uh, solar and wind in Germany, for example, and then, you know, everything was starting up, uh, we had a similar situation when we started with DI 12 years ago and uh, everything slowly started up. Uh, now looking back, the last uh, decade, particularly in the last five years, saw a massive acceleration. But now the prices, they are so low, you know, we're hitting soon one cent for solar. We already hit two cents for wind in the region. So this alone will trigger uh, a massive acceleration. So what we call the scale up, the ramp up phase. And this will have very important implications for the energy system. And hydrogen, you know, is not a hype anymore. Hydrogen went through waves and uh, hydrogen will probably accompany us not only this decade, but this decade in the second half, probably of the 20s, we'll see also a, a big, big ramp up phase. So I think it will be really, really exciting uh, years ahead. Uh, you know, one day also markets need to start here in the region, uh, government monopolies need to be step by step uh, reduced, um, the, the fossil fuel subsidies will be phased out, uh, which will make uh, renewables even more competitive, because this is effectively what is, uh, what is hampering the development of renewables in the region, you know, the, the artificial low energy prices. So the phase out of the fossil fuel subsidies, I think the wake up call last year, with uh, the biggest crisis in the energy industry, the fact that national oil companies like uh, PDO in Oman is becoming EDO, uh, is quite a revolution. Of course, all the stock exchange listed companies uh, are in the process of, of doing this, but the fact that a national comp oil company uh, like PDO becomes EDO is, is remarkable, and also Oman uh, is introducing a spot market, you know, the first market here in the region. So I think uh, this decade will be really rich of very exciting developments with an um, accelerated move towards uh, renewable and emission-free technologies. Yeah, well, DI is uh, relatively unique. So we are not an association we are not a solar or wind association, you know, we typically, we, we don't really have manufacturers as partners. We are more a very close group, a focus group of the doers of projects, you know, of the drivers of the energy transition. So developers, utilities, investors, uh, big groups like uh, Blackstone, but entrepreneurial groups, uh, you know, like Yellow Door from the region that have been driving a new market segment, industrial commercial. Uh, and then uh, the value chain, what you need on the green electron and uh, the green molecule side, hydrogen, some really exciting companies, research, uh, even like Fraunhofer Institute, uh, recently Kapsack uh, from Saudi or Kaust, uh, and very international. So, you know, with our approximately 50 partners, 25 countries, we have a board which is, uh, you know, as a top industry level with the CEOs of Mazda, Aquapower, uh, the head of energy in uh, Neom, Peter Terium, the former CEO of uh, RW and Energy, bankers, very senior bankers, the head of Mazen, uh, the head of the energy division of the Arab League. So, you know, it's, uh, it's relatively unique. So the I, you can say, is more like a think tank, but a very focused think tank, really to develop concrete business opportunities. And, you know, we, we are developing new things, like, for example, our project transaction platform right now, uh, with uh, Cranmore Partners, we, we work together on offering, you know, financially and project uh, transaction advisory services. Um, and uh, this is really exciting. And today we've heard about uh, the DII Green Transition Fund. So a lot to do. And uh, I want to, uh, to underline one more time that uh, really only companies that are personally invited, that are approved by the shareholders can join. Um, the level is relatively high and, uh, you know, the trusted network, the fact that typically, you know, we've been knowing each other for many years, this is uh, a very important factor because, you know, when you connect uh, people, um, trust and uh, integrity is everything. DI has been around for 12 years now and we went through phases, the first phase, Desert Tech, uh, you know, early stage uh, 
let's say, groundwork origination for renewable energy, uh, first in the Maghreb region, then at a later stage uh, around uh, uh, Egypt, for example, or in the Middle East. Uh, then Dubai move, um, DI moved to Dubai in 2014, uh, 2015, and then Desert Tech 3.0 has been developed uh, more recently. So this is all about green electrons and green molecules. So the hydrogen topic and derivatives has been incorporated as, an, as a centerpiece. And uh, yeah, so Desert Tech 3.0 is all about, you know, giving the region the chance to, to prosper. Of course, with local lead, job creation, stability, energy diversification, energy security. So it is all about a Desert Tech 3.0, of course, uh, first, uh, you know, giving the countries all the benefits. Uh, and now I think this decade will be really exciting because as we heard, the setting is completely different. While uh, a bit more than 10 years ago, you know, power from the deserts and particularly export was a highly political, sensitive topic, difficult topic. Now with green molecules, we have obviously technically, capacity-wise, uh, possibilities to, to transfer potentially uh, tens of gigawatts uh, of uh, energy capacity between markets. But uh, now, you know, with the Green Deal in Europe and uh, with the partnership, and we heard it, for example, from the head of Hydrogen Europe today, from Jorge Schatzimakak, is our key partner in Europe, that, uh, you know, there is uh, such a keen uh, intention to work together. So I'm very hopeful that with uh, Desert Tech 3.0 now and with a completely different political setting, new possibilities, very low prices for renewables, this will, uh, let's say, cause quite a revolution in energy markets, a positive revolution during this decade. It's a very special moment. You know, I, I'm feeling almost a little bit like the 10th anniversary in 2019 in uh, the Adlon in Berlin, uh, when we had the 10th uh, DI Desert Energy Leadership Summit. Uh, it's only a partner meeting, you know, uh, 50 people here personally, but uh, many more connected, obviously, online. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's a great and successful experiment, you know, in terms of uh, proposing such a hybrid format, which was tested uh, successfully today. So I think it was uh, a great achievement by the team, you know, to prepare this and uh, also great partnership with, with Thomas, with Cleantech Business Club to, to make this all possible. So uh, we are uh, delighted that, uh, you know, people uh, seem to be as happy as I am. It's a very special moment uh, for many people, first event since March last year. So it's, uh, it, it's a wonderful feeling and, uh, you know, we, we need these personal relationships and, uh, you know, hopefully step by step we can uh, come back in uh, organizing some larger events as well. But this, of course, is an internal partner meeting. It's only for, for, for the DI partners today. And the next step would be something, something bigger here. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, with, uh, with Thomas, you know, we've been knowing each other for, for sure for well more than 10 years. And we've done many successful things together. And uh, we've had a very complimentary partnership for the last few years already. So I think now, uh, Cleantech Business Club is a great platform. Uh, we are very complementary. The I is more like a think tank. Uh, Cleantech Business Club, you know, has a great uh, network, and even like celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Icon, you know, they uh, they come to the events, which is great. Uh, and uh, well, we are obviously more on the industry captain side, but. Uh, we have industry captains coming to our event. We have a lot of content. So I think it's a very complementary partnership and we will for sure work uh, even more together during this decade, which will be the decade of disruption. Together we are stronger.